vehicle parking lot and where does he stop? <laughs> well, you have to look at it. It's <laughs> evidently they use it for snow removal. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, true, true. Nice little guy. Yeah. It's kind of our Sunday thing after church. We go out, have breakfast at D Toys. D Toys. Usually, not always. Well, we kind of spread it around. Right. Okay. And then we take a drive through the LU Ford and Chrysler and look around. And we also go to the Chevy dealer because you never know, they might trade off the, a good one every once in a while for a Chevy. <laughs> <clears throat> so what, what I've learned going through these parking lots is that Ford has the coolest colors. Look at this blue. I've never seen nothing like I that. I love it. I love it, but because my husband is totally against owning a Ford, I don't even get to look at the pretty colors or even think about entertain the thought of having a pretty blue teal color vehicle. I don't know if I'm against owning a Ford. Yes, you are. I just don't know why you'd want to. <laughs> no, I don't know. They're all the same. They break down just as much as the others. So. These are taller than me. I don't know why you'd want to own something that takes a step ladder to get into, <laughs> though. That's ridiculous. See, there's another one. The Bronco is blue. It also has kind of a drive forward. Well, I don't know if they want to see the corner post of my car. Oh, well, is that what they're seeing? I don't know. I can't see. Orange. Some kind of orange right there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but would... that thing is so little you die if you hit oh. a deer okay whatever so, i won't be getting it anyways but i sure like the colors and i tire of white and gray and black in the lots how come it's always those colors except ford because of the big disease outbreak i don't know they thought we needed just to have two colors to choose from actually i think it was one mostly white that was being made quite available should we put our car in line here Let's see. How many years ago was it when we, when we, uh, when you decided we had to own this thing? I decided. Yeah. Um. Here, right here. Well, I think you were having a midlife crisis. No, the only crisis I had was that I drove through. We drove through this lot several times, watching it. And it was winter. No, well, it was spring oh. when I first seen it. Oh. And then uh, as time went on and the car kept sitting in the, about the same spot, I finally, oh, it was, I Months. think it was midsummer. And we finally went in and I said, well, are you going to send that car off to uh, the sale, oh, the, the auction? auction? And if you are, I would be interested in buying it for whatever you think that you're going to get out of it when you send it to auction because it was getting late enough in the summer that I knew they were going to have a hard time mm. selling it. And Because this car is not meant really for Minnesota winters. No, this is this is only summer. You're going to show them their car. Well, I thought you'd get out. I think you can... Take I think four. it was it was parked down there somewhere. It was. It was on that lot for sure. And they were maybe I, actually in the other building. Well, it don't matter. <laughs> this ain't no advertisement for no car dealership. No, but it's just a story of... Um, so, long story short on that deal. He was 40. He turned 40 and he said, I work so hard that I am... This is how he justified it, finally. <laughs> is that I work so hard, which he does and did and still does i'm going to get something that i really will enjoy and that's 15 years ago so 15 years we've so. been driving the 06 charger yes and daytona. now we've got our oh daytona daytona edition number what what is the number serial number three nine zero eight of four thousand right go so mango got... is the color i think we've told people this before I don't, not the whole story no that's true and we took it all the way to texas with the boys and now there's a hundred <sighs> hundred thousand almost 500 miles on it really yeah turned over 
I didn't drive it much last summer thinking that maybe I could turn trade it off right before a hundred thousand and then I found out what they'd give me for it and I said no I'll drive it maybe I'll be buried in it so you're gonna go show them excavator. not that not that they need to see it but maybe they don't want to oh, see it. I think that you have to finish the story and the other reason well you like orange and so this he has an orange pickup orange. It, it it was and like now, it was meant to be Dodge is not seeming to be making orange, but Ford is, and also Chevy. I saw orange in the little yeah. car. Come on, Dodge, don't let me down. Just <laughs> and I don't want to buy a brand new one either. No. Okay, I'm not going to do that. So, no. and I'm not talking cars. I'm talking pickups. It might be time because I've got 167 thousand on that. It's definitely time. Maybe I do something, yeah. but I it's I don't a, want to do anything. Wreck finally paid for the last payment here just the other day. Oh, whatever. It's a 2010. <clears throat> wow. So, it's... And I rode in the back seat yesterday. That's a nice pickup. And the air was whoosh, 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 whoosh in my ear, and there's no heat, and I don't know why you guys think you can keep me so cold in the back seat. But it's like, could you please turn some heat on? Then by the time we get to the place, both Chet and Doug are like, oh my gosh, so it's so hot. hot. My so why don't you sit in the front seat? Feet are frozen because it's still winter here. And I might be crabby about that too. Okay, we're going to leave now. We're going to show them the car now so I can change the subject. <laughs> there it is. I actually like it quite a bit better than the purple Challenger we had for the rental car. Yeah, it's been a good car for him. I don't care that much about sports cars, honestly. I really am. It's windy here, so again, wind. Again, wind. Nothing new. It's always windy. You know, <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a long time. What would that be? Step away. Step Why? Oh! Oh! He's leaving me! <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. I'll see which vehicle I can find and see if I can find someone to come to work on a Sunday to get me one. <laughs> you're full of you're, you're full of baloney, just I, like my father. I made it. it ten seconds and I had to have you back. Oh come on, so Amy. Come sweet. on, let's go home. Here, you take them in the car out of the wind. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's a nice looking rig, honey. It's a nice looking rig. It's too nice for what they think that they want to give they me. What did they say that they would give you? I don't want to tell you. 4000 4200 I don't even, I don't have no idea what you paid for. Not that. enough. I'm not, it'll be one of them things that sit in my shed forever. We can have another vehicle sitting in the shed forever. Well, we just won't buy another one. I would, I would sign up for that. Okay. okay. Come back. I didn't think. Well. I thought she'd had a big smile on her face. Oh, I locked her out. So you got going fast enough to lock the doors? Evidently, I really. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, I really should take this out by myself more often. To remember why. Why you bought oh, it? Oh, man. Yeah. It's pretty. It's nice. It's yeah. not my favorite, but it's okay. It's just fine. Do I need it? No. Do I enjoy it? Yeah. Am I glad I have it? Yeah. Do I want a Challenger? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh. But I'm not going to... More than likely that's not going to happen. When you get to the age where you can't crawl out <laughs> of the vehicle no more... Oh, whoa. Careful. Then maybe you shouldn't have the vehicles that you... You can't get out? Right. I can get out. You can get out. Oh, I... what it you... might not look so graceful, though. <laughs> oh, we had a fun time yesterday. It, it was just... I don't know what is up with us. I do not know. <laughs> I think because we don't really have a ton of hobbies. Your hobby is working that we really enjoy looking at RVs. Why? It's a worm in the brain. Maybe it's a worm in the brain. 
I don't know. I look at it as the more knowledge that we get, mm -hmm. the more it's going to be. Is that Brody? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Brody's mowing. mowing. He's mowing. Uh, I think that's what you need to get done today. Is get the lawnmower, get the lawnmower ready lawnmower. for me because this week is going to be probably a parka and everything mowing, but it's unbelievable. It still grows. Do we have to go turn around and say hi? To I Brody? think we have to. Oh man, now there's a traffic jam here. Okay, getting back to uh, what was it that we were so talking about? So you oh. you are very diligent to go through the papers that come in the mail from forever since we got married. He'd go through the peach and the canary and all the the ads and things. There's an auction sale. There's an auction, and it's got a lot of nice. He's got a lot of nice items on there, and I'm guessing it's a retired gentleman. Long story short, they have a very nice RV for sale. And, uh, oh. There he is. There he is. Oh, gosh. What did so, he we're going to have to get back to my... the RV story because here we are at Brody's house. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> you came to help. Oh, maybe not. I just come to smell the grass. <laughs> it smells pretty good. Yeah. I had to get out. Yeah. You throw all the grass and the sticks at the people as they drive by, right? I try to. Yeah. I can't see. I think you need a fine for that. Can you? Maybe. So. Or a lawsuit, if nothing else. You're supposed to throw your clippings onto the highway. Oh. Well, there goes that idea. No baby yet. No baby yet. Have you tried any kind of... Uh... No. No. <laughs> She's all walking around somewhere. Yeah. I'm pretty going much... To, going to curbs. Mm. Curb walking. Oh. oh, is that a thing? Ah. Oh. Put up there and step down, back and forth. Oh. Any, I, I don't I know remember, if anybody I remember wants to hear this. Everybody had ideas when the time came. I told her just to move on. She did that last time. But then that you bouncing going on did, didn't help her, did it? I don't know. Makes you uncomfortable. That's the problem. Right. Is that baby comes when the baby comes, and then mm -hmm. you just end up being sore and everything else. Yeah. Well. Did you just wash your car? Yeah. Wow. Gas and the wash. It looks nice. Now if I only didn't live on four miles of gravel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Reminiscing about when he bought it when he was 40. 15 years ago. 15. Wow. Yeah. You bought it new? Used. Used. I think I had 40,000 on it. What do you got on it now? 80? 100 and 100,500. Wow. Yep. Trade it. I should trade it. <laughs> What's it now? It's a Hemi. Yeah. You're to 60 miles an hour before you ever get to you the kind of, It's not that much fun just because you're because it's so fast. Yeah. And I guess I would know this because I may or may not accelerate in my Durango. Yes. Well, I think people know that I do that. It's yeah. just like little things. It's something. Perceived power, maybe. Hmm. Perceived power. Power under the hood, anyway. Well, that that was a uh, half hour yeah. conversation. That was nice. And then we we searched for Callie, Brody's wife, which is Doug's niece, and got to visit with her a little bit and her little girls. So that, yeah, waiting, waiting. I remember those days. Do they know that she's going to have a baby? She, like, you well, know, three days? Well, it, yeah, baby was due in the, ninth, the 19th and is now the 21st. So it's not too terribly over. But <sighs> Anyway, what were we talking about before we, we saw Brody? We talking about the more you learn uh, about an RV, the better off you are. So you can make a very clear judgment on all the things and reasons that you really don't want to own one. Yes. And then we'll see if uh, common sense actually prevails or if, I don't want to say stupidity over rules, but it, it's not sounding like something that, unless I can get it for a steal, a buy of a lifetime, you know, the buys of a lifetime that are always the good ones might not be really the 
good idea, but if they're good, they're good buys, that is. So, this auction is scheduled toward the end of the month, which would be, you know, planting. And so, thankfully, the owner um, allowed us, allowed us to, to come in and take a look at it yesterday. It was really enjoyable. I encouraged Ted to join us so he could talk Doug out of it, but also have two eyes on the engine and all the things. I can't remember the year of it. That was an 06 too. Was it? Beautiful. Maybe we could pull this thing behind it. Oh my goodness. Ooh. See now there, there's temptation talking. That's silliness. Yeah. Anyway, that it good. was a, it just was a wonderful couple to visit with. I think that was my favorite part of it. And I have heard this about when you go to RV parks and that's probably the most enjoyable part about RVing is getting to meet people at the RV park. And she definitely, the wife definitely, was talking a lot about that and how, what good friends they've made over the years, all the different traveling they've done. So anyway, he's 82 and I think she's 80. And he's just decided that it's just too big of a machine, especially when they, they haul the what, Hummer behind it? They pulled, they pulled <laughs> the hum, Hummer behind it. So he said he was 75 feet long when he was cruising down the road. And well, that's, that's it's like a semi. So, oh. and I don't know when I would ever use this thing. I could drive it from home to the farm a few times, I suppose, but then that's gravel. Take it out to the field so there's a bathroom for people. They need a nap. That could be overkilling. <laughs> Might need to take a nap. That now, now you're on the right path there. That we could do that. Well, you could have it as a write-off then. Yep, yeah, it's the restroom. <laughs> When we were in California, they had to have a restroom in in the field. I the mean, they had to have a porta potties on a trailer that they could move the trailer from place to place. I think they said it had to be within a what three minute or four minute walk. So the, as they progressed down the field, they also had to move the porta potty every so many rounds to make sure that you could walk that distance in that time yeah. period. It's a regulation and they had California to provide that for their workers, which makes sense. I'd hate to see the reason why the law had to be passed. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, it is, it is an enjoyable thing for us to do together. Ted came up with multiple reasons that this is a bad idea. Oh, I come up with plenty of myself. And I think even the gentleman that has it for sale had a list of him, himself because there's is just a lot of moving motors and parts. There's, and, there's always a list, he says, of things to fix every time you get back from a trip. <laughs> and I told him, well, why would I want more things to fix in life? I, I don't. I, no. I would not enjoy... I don't think I would enjoy fixing on my vacation. Do you even like to vacation? No. <laughs> no. There's nothing sensible. sensible in this whole thing, but it is what it is. I, I suppose you could almost say that we're them people that waste the other people's time by going and looking. But it is, if you're going to look into it, do it early because you won't believe things to learn about just to the on the bottom end what do they call it the lower basement oh the basement underneath there's Ooh, all this ever. storage under this rv and they call it the basement underneath the rv and they they can have heaters under there which i think is very smart especially with the climate and all the things but um he called it the basement. Basement. So there's different ways of opening up the doors. We have learned if you have them swing out versus the swing up mm -hmm. or the head bangers, the head crackers. We've been told don't get that. Get the swing up. This get one the, had the swing to the side. Most open. of them were. And these big rolling out drawers where you could put your tubs of things that you think you need, which there would be a place to put like your lawn chairs and I don't know. It's just really fascinating. I think it's so fascinating to me. Why? I don't know. But I don't know. Just... He had a lot of awesome stories about 
people that he knew that uh, oh. their vehicles come unhitched. Really? And, oh yeah. And then the tow chains would keep the vehicle from leaving, but all that is happens then is it, it crashes into uh. the back of the vehicle of your RV as you stop because it's no longer attached by the hitch. So it sits back there and pounds away on the back. He said sometimes if you know the car is not going to cause an accident in oncoming traffic, it would be better for the car just to leave and go in the ditch. But Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> Lots of stories. Oh, no. I think this is about all they need to know about RV and 99.9% and .9 of them are going to say uh, no. Forget it. I think the hotel room sounds just fine. All the cardboard. We come to get liquid nails and we also get cardboard. Oh. How's that going? Not good. <laughs> Struggling here. something more to do burn cardboard no nobody burns cardboard no, we're recycling we're recycle that it. right come we're on here now we just got a call that everybody's starting to freak out about you know why why there's nobody that can what do you mean why why i had no forward warning that today might be go day it's always possible with you people with you people well that won't be a go today but no there might be a rock picker or a digger that might be sent scratching out scratching so in can, the dirt so that we can uh plant tomorrow maybe or Good. try to plant i should get a water i gotta get a water okay. so the liquid nails is for what lawn more seat <laughs> Stay hydrated. The things you get into. It's never easy. There's never enough prep work done in time. And yeah, this might be another video that just don't keep giving. Here we are again. That don't keep giving? That keeps on that giving. keeps on giving. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to glue the seat on and now he's decided it all needs to be clean first. Yeah, which it then it's going to be wet. So you're not going to be able to glue. I'm concerned. So, very concerned. It's fine. I can just put a towel there for Amy's to sit on. 
So are you saying you don't want me to glue it on today because you want to use the mower? I will probably be needing it this like in a couple days. So you do want me to glue it on? Yes. Okay. But I'm thinking now that it's wet, it's not going to get glued on. Well, time will tell. Get out of the wind here. Time will tell. Time will tell. And the time is going to have to be within the next half hour. <laughs> I know because you're leaving. Maybe. <laughs> so, ah. Yeah. All right. Well. We'll get her. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll be back one more time. Maybe twice. Maybe not. Maybe I got time to finish so that real up. The, the blue sky, it makes me so happy. Happy. Have a blessed day. You really shouldn't show nobody my inabilities. I think you're doing just fine. Oh, yeah. It's been a challenge. Yeah. The railing was the worst. Everything else went pretty slick, but... Or I should see this. The steps. I'll drill an eye out. Oh, my gosh. You've seen it here. <laughs> Rotor rooter the eyeball. Oh, my goodness, no. Right through the pupil. No rebuking words yeah. like that. Right now. Oh yeah. Can't imagine that. Projects. Always projects. This is the last one though. Oh. This is all messed up from last year. And I think fall harvest got me. And now spring planting is here. So I'm always being rushed. Mm -hmm. Deadlines. Kind of like, would you ever get your taxes ready to go if there weren't a deadline? No, I wouldn't. Okay, I'm going to shut this off because it's likely windy. There may be wondering why in the world are you doing this when the seat, the seat of the mower is dry, so. That's why. We'll get her.